So today I'm going to do a review on something that seems to be impossible to find a review on this specific model. The Ryobi 3100 PSI 2.3 gallon per minute, not 2.5, 3100 2.3. Sold from Home Depot, has a Honda 170 engine in it, and it comes with the surface cleaner as a bonus included. $500 Canadian for this. I believe it's three something US for this same model from what I can find. And there's just no reviews on this exact one. There's lots on the 3100 two and a half gallon. It's a different machine. After looking through all the different ones that were offered, this is the one I figured was the best deal for what I needed. A lot of questions I can't seem to find anywhere online about this. Does it have the idle down feature? That's a big one. So I'm really curious to see that. And what's the assembly like? Let's open it up and take a look. Now for a little change of pace, this video is done on nothing but my little DJI Pocket 2 with the built-in wireless mic. $600 Canadian combo as opposed to the $4,000 Canadian combo for my a7 IV on my Mustang seat video. Interesting to see how this looks. Great thing about this is if I drop this, it's not as big a deal. Fortunately, the a7 survived the drop. So what's the assembly look like? That's a big one because I don't like assembling things. We've got our wand here. I also bought a longer wand for about 30 bucks from Home Depot, which I think will be better because I'm tall. So far, assembly is looking good. I'm like really good. There's the oil. Don't want to forget that. Thank you for buying this. This is how you put it together. If something goes wrong, don't call the store. Fair enough. Here's the handle. It's just the handle and it snaps in, I believe. I don't think there's any screws for assembly. Wouldn't that be fantastic? Let's see if we can get this out. There's the unit. We got a hose in here. 25 foot long hose apparently, which is kind of nice. A little bit longer, 30 foot maybe. I don't know, it's longer than most of them. Here's the wand. This feels pretty flimsy, though I imagine they probably all are. My Karcher Electric has a super flimsy wand and I've, it's broken. I've had it apart a number of times trying to fix it. That'd probably be the same deal with this. Now I gotta say, it looked quite nice actually. Looks really sharp and it is assembled. All I have to do is set this on here to bend it a little bit all right, but that's it. Snapped in and this is the unit. Ready to go except for oil, of course. Let's put that in. One big thing about this, it is made in the USA, which I like, even though I'm Canadian. To me, it says quality compared to China or somewhere else. This comes with this oil. Premium four cycle small engine lubricant. I'm kind of picky about oil. Don't pretend to know everything about it, but I'm picky about what I put in my car. It's only ever synthetic. It's only ever quote unquote good oil. I have to wonder if this is something I expect from Honda or if this is just cheap oil. However, at least it says made in the USA. So eh, that's all right. There's a little bit of a, is there oil in it? Better check this first. It looks like there's oil in the thing. There is definitely oil on this. How much is there? It's hard to tell, so just let the paper towel be the judge. Just a little bit in the bottom, it seems. So this is 14 ounces of oil it comes with. Let's check the capacity on the website. Okay, oil tank capacity, I don't know if you can see it or not, 0.42 U.S. quart or 0.41 liters. This is 0.35 liters, 355 milliliters. So it must be that the rest of it's already in there. By the sounds of it, it should take this then. Let's put it in and see. Now that it's in there, we'll check the oil. Yep. Various warning things, engine shipped without oil. We know that. It smells like fuel. I wonder if they test run these things. Like it's not much, but it smells like fuel. So here's a connection for our presser hose. 
I'm going to do that. Can't mess these up because one of them is threaded. The other one is also threaded. Are they the same? Yeah, they're the same. Can't mess them up. This is a little bit Mickey Mouse, I got to say. This is how you hold your hose on here. Velcro. Well, I suppose that does actually work okay. Just a little funky. I suppose I'll assemble this wand now. This is the larger one that I got. Same difference though, it looks the same. Just finger tight. Remains to be seen if this is going to need more to tighten it. Interesting. This turns independently. Doesn't tighten like this, it only tightens on here. So this will spin freely-ish, I think. This is a nice working length for doing a deck or something like that. Much better length. It's a 27 inch. Connect this to the wand. I believe we're ready for water now. Put this right in there. Fits all right. Shaft of it and then boom, falls right in there. That's okay. Not super secure. That's definitely going to break soon. But for now, it looks nice. Next comes one of the things that I like least about this. The thing I like most about it is the Honda engine and the included surface cleaner. I don't like that this has got all the multiples in it. It's got soap. It's got soap with a fan. Soap jet. 40, 25, 15. Doesn't have a zero. Doesn't have a uh, super power, what you may call it, one. Turbo. But it's all in one tip, which is kind of nice. I like that. I don't like that when this starts to leak, you're kind of screwed because they're probably all going to leak. But you can buy the tips. They're universal. So, it's all right. Stick this on the end. There. She's on. Kind of finicky to change it, honestly, while you're holding it. you got to kind of hold it under like that. I don't know. It wants to turn the whole thing. Start off with 40 degrees so I don't hurt myself or something else. It's kind of like a quick draw holster. Done. Draw. That's totally going to break this year. So perhaps what I'm most curious about is this surface cleaner because I want to be able to clean a lot of flat stuff. So let's give it a try. There is the surface cleaner. The gasoline pressure washers. Nozzle cleaning tool it says. And it's just this tiny little piece of wire. Definitely not losing this like today. Maybe tomorrow. This weekend for sure. This is going to get lost. Okay, so I've got the water hooked up. So I figure the first thing I'm going to clean is this shooting pad that my son's been asking me to do with the pressure washer. So I'm just operating it without the running to get the air out of the line. So I know there's some air in this hose. This is the 25 degree tip. It's actually doing some cleaning even like this. Let's open it up to a little wider. See, this is a little awkward because you go to turn it, the whole thing turns. You gotta, when your hands are wet, that's gonna be tricky. Okay, well, I think we've got the air out of this line. So I'm gonna start it up and see how it runs. Wow, this takes very little fuel. And this filler cap and bore is huge. Super easy. Way nicer to refill than anything else I have like this. There's an on and off and a fuel shut off. It's all the same switch. Bottom is off. Next one is fuel off. Next is on. I don't see a choke. You just pull it and go, I guess. Let's see. Oh, fire. That was easy. About 10 feet away, we're 83 dB A. That's pretty loud, but it's it's not a real pitchy loud. It's like a deeper. Well, so far I've just done this one corner of it, and to me you can certainly see a big difference. Let's try the surface cleaner. There's no place to put this when you're using your surface cleaner, like most of them have a place to mount it. This doesn't. The only holes I can see in it is these tiny little pinholes at the end of each of these. So it must just go spins, I know that, but I think that's all it does. There's nothing in the middle that I can see. Wow, what a difference.
Ah. Well, that is impressive. Well worth it just for this alone, as far as I'm concerned. Night and day difference. So now we give it a try in this Adirondack chair that I put spray urethane on last year and looks terrible. So I'm going to start over, try and strip it off with this and then put some actual Thompson's water seal or stain or something on it. Using a 25 degree tip. Okay, so overall, I'm definitely really impressed with this little machine. It does not seem to have an idle down feature, which is a bit of a drag, but it's not terribly loud, at least compared to my neighbors, which I think has uh, Briggs and Stratton on it. it. Has more than enough pressure for what I need to do, though you can tell that it does lug the motor down whenever you're using it on full pressure. And all in all, I'm quite happy. I just really like having the Honda engine. I also see the point of where they say that there's no sense having a zero degree wand because I haven't even used the 15 degree one and I've already finding the 25 can do all that I'd ever want it to do. In fact, it was a little bit too much for the chair as I found out. Overall, I'm pretty darn happy with my purchase of this thing. So anyway, I hope this was helpful for you guys to get and see how it goes together and what it's made out of, how loud it is, what it sounds like and that sort of thing. Anyway, thanks for watching. Have a great day guys and we'll see you sometime again.